doubt on that. I must admit, when I first heard on Sunday when it was breaking news, I cried my eyes out yeah. on that. And probably even today I'll have a tear. It's, uh, it's put a different slant on things this week, hasn't it? Because there's so much going on today to commemorate Rob's life uh, and to remember him. And I think it's it changed the mood a little bit. It certainly has for me. It's been a it's not been an easy week for me of, uh, as a supporter of Rob's and the MND Association. It's been a bit tough, to be honest. Yeah, I think it has. And I think more importantly, it's spread even more awareness in the wider public as well of uh, MND. Uh, inadvertently, it's promoted our game. But the, the important thing is it's it's opened the, the public's eyes to MND. I've spoken to so many people this week because we've been away this week as well. Yeah. And a few people have mentioned Rob to me this week. I haven't got a clue about rugby league. And that is what MND awareness is all about. It's so important. And Graham, are you going to continue to uh, raise money for MND? Absolutely. Uh, I'm £14,500 into my fundraising now Incredible. since Rob was diagnosed, thank you. Uh, I've got another ultramarathon coming up in September. I'm spending 12 hours running round and round and round the DW Stadium on the day that Wigan play leaves. I'm hoping to knock out in the region of 100 laps or 70 kilometres or thereabouts in the 12 hours. Emotional. Yeah. Emotional. I mean, like I said, I, I remember watching Rob Burrow in 2015. They, they did the treble and... oh. Honestly, I, I had a tear in my eye when we did the mini silence and we clapped after seven minutes. It were, yeah, what a fucking legend. It was a fitting tribute on it. It was, certainly. Um, I call him a legend. Yeah. Uh, to win the Harry Sunderland Award in the grand final, not once but twice, just shows it. And I think probably one of the greatest tries that's ever been scored uh, uh, when he went the full length of the field. It was it was just magic. His, um, they did a documentary on him just recently and it, you could see him playing when he was about seven years of age. Yeah. He had the step, he had the guile, and of course everybody said one thing, he's not big enough to make it. Boy, did he prove them wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was, And he was such a nice guy. Uh, I interviewed him uh, several times, obviously, whilst working for Sky. Uh, he never turned you down, he was always there, he always had a big smile on his face. And uh, I think it's wonderful that not only are the Rugby League at this final uh, are giving him a good send-off, but also the Rugby Union are doing exactly the same thing. And that's the impact. Uh, what he did with Kevin Sinfield and raising millions uh, for MND, and, it's, um, and we just hope that uh, one day they'll, they'll find a cure. Because uh, he, he fought to the end, fought to the end, really, really, a magical man. Um, I used to call him the little maestro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you been to Headingley to see the, uh, yeah, the tributes yeah, paid yeah. to him? Yeah, I've seen, seen all the tributes and that. Here we go, I'll show you some. That's like some of the flowers. Yeah. And everything that was left for him, scarves, you name it. Oh, yeah. He's a hero. Yeah, what, what's your sort of best memory of uh, Rob Burrow? You know, what would you uh, remember him for? His playing, his tenacity, his, just the way he was. For a little man, he was really just so good yeah. and whatever. His strength, um, and obviously even when he was, got diagnosed as with MND. Um, and I suppose the biggest person in the world I would admire, as well as Rob, for what he did for MND yeah. and Kevin Sinfield was basically um, Lindsay, his wife yeah, and family. Yeah. She's like been a rock for him and whatever. And um, I probably feel more for them now, now that unfortunately he's gone, now that he's passed and that. Uh, it just echoes what everybody says, obviously Sinfield and all the fans, small in stature, but a giant, um, sorry, small in size, but a giant in stature. Uh, excellent man on, on the field, proved anybody can play rugby league, excelled at the highest level, and then what when he was diagnosed with MND, the man he was just um, exceptional, um, inspiration to all, and it's a shame he's gone, but his memory will live on uh, forever, but good man. Perfect way to win, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.